Hi everyone. So if you live in California, especially Southern California around San Diego and Los Angeles area, then you've been experiencing quite a bit of a heat wave. So today I wanted to share with you my heat wave essentials. I have cosmetics and skincare. Um, so I'm going to start with cosmetics. First, you need a primer to make sure that your face is oil free and that your makeup won't come off by noon time. I use my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure Oil Free Primer and um, I like this. I like the way it applies on my skin and I think this is the first um, high-end primer that I've used. So definitely give this a try if you're looking for a new primer. The next one is a BB cream and I actually didn't like this product when I first started using it. I thought that it was too wet on my face. It still is. Um, whenever I would apply it, it feels like I'm applying literally like cold water on my face and it just stays there for a, lo for a little bit. Um, it kind of needs time to dry but I found that this is the only thing that would stay on my face and it won't make my face oily throughout the day as much as my high-end BB cream and foundation would. And I'm talking about the Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB cream and this is an 8-in-1 beauty balm skin perfecter and it has SPF 30 in it which is amazing especially in a heat wave. You need to protect your skin otherwise you might regret it later. The next thing is a powder. Of course you need to make sure that your face is oil free throughout the rest of the day and that your makeup stays intact. And I use my MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder. Um, I just love this. This is my first high-end um, powder and I just really like the way it works. The next product is a mascara. You don't really need this, but you know, when you're in a heat wave, you still want to look good. Um, and if everything else melts off your face, you can count on mascara not to. So I like the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I just started using this this month in September. And I really like it. I love the way that it lengthens and volumizes my, my eyelashes. And I don't have a lot of eyelashes. So I really like that. Eventually, I'd like to learn to wear false lashes, but in the meantime, I'm counting on this mascara to do it for me. The last two cosmetic products is lip products, and I use a combination of a lip liner and a lipstick. For lip liner, I use the Rimmel London um, number 007 in Rose Quartz, and this is what it looks like. Um, I like rose shades on my lips, so I use this one. It's not bright or anything. It's almost like a neutral. Um, it's closest to a neutral as I would get without actually going for like a nude lips. And then I use the Too Faced Coral Fire and this is what it looks like. I really like this because it's a really, really creamy lipstick. And if you're in the market for creamy lipstick, I definitely would recommend Too Faced. Um, I went to Ulta recently and I tried all the other colors and I want to try the I Want Candy next time that I'm in the market because I just love the way this applies. In the beginning, I also didn't like it because for some reason it was leaving a little bit of residue um, after I applied it. Um, it was just not as smooth as I would have wanted it. but. I left it alone for months and months and then I started using it again and it is now my autumn color. Just because you're in a heat wave doesn't mean that you have to wash your hair every single day. We all know that that's not good for your hair. So I would suggest using a sea salt texturizing spray on your hair. Um, this actually doubles as a dry shampoo because the sea salt spray is drying. It will take away the extra oil that's in your hair and it will also make sure that it's texturized. So I definitely would give this a try or any other sea salt spray that you can find. Um, of course, it's always good to also have a dry shampoo on the side, but if you don't, this is good for a two-in-one kind of function. If you don't know, there's been a widespread drought in California for, I believe, going on three years now, but this year has been the worst of them. Um, and during a heat wave, it's even worse the plants suffer, people suffer because it's so hot inside and out of your home. Um, and some of us might want to take a shower more than once a day. Unfortunately, 
Um, that might not be possible because everybody needs to conserve water to make sure that we don't run out of it one day. So if you're not able to take a shower twice a day or even three times a day, I would suggest stocking up on deodorants. You don't want to be that person that, you know, walks into a room and blows everybody away by your bad odor. That is not pretty, that's not attractive, that's just a big no. So definitely stock up on deodorant. This one is the Dove Advanced Care Cool Essentials. I just like, I don't know, I like little things. <laughs> and the travel, the travel sizes kind of fascinates me. So this is just the one I'm using right now. The last body product is one of the most important things that you need during a heat wave. And this is a sunscreen. I use the Alba Botanica SPF 45 sunscreen um, revitalizing green tea. I don't remember if I mentioned in a video or a blog post before that I am allergic to all kinds of sunscreen except for this one. I found this and it's completely organic, no parabens, um, it's vegetarian, everything like that. It's amazing um, and I'm not allergic to it and it smells so good. This is the Hawaiian sunscreen. They have other sunscreens. Um, but I just like this one So definitely give this a try. I tried using this on my face, but it didn't quite work It made my face oily. So I just use it on my body now um, But I'm almost actually running out of this so definitely try this out Especially if you have really sensitive skin to sunscreen the very last product is a skincare product that I think is really important I know heat wave means heat and usually that means oily skin and melting makeup um, but I think it's still important that you moisturize. This is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Oil Free Moisturizer Refining Aloe and Green Tea and again it is a vegetarian product. Um, I don't know if that matters to you um, but I just like that it's all natural but I think it's still important to moisturize regardless of the weather. So that is all of my heat weave essentials. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you next week. Bye! Yes! Success! Oh. Um, eventually, I'm hoping to learn... London lip liner in rose quartz. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No. <laughs> it dropped on the floor. That is not good. It's going to be applied to lips later. Shoot. Oh my gosh. <laughs>